Now, whoever did that will pay dearly. Amma picked up the stone idol with one hand and covered his nose with the other. It's very hard dealing with a headstrong person, especially if he holds a high position and is a respected member of a community. The trouble increases when he's also the head of the family. La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. Amr bin al-Jamu was no ordinary man. He was the chief of the Banu Salema tribe of Medina Munawara, famous for his generosity and bravery. He was one of the select few people who had an idol to worship in his own house, and he offered its sacrifices in times of distress and whenever there was an occasion to celebrate. Amr bin Jamu took great care of his personal idol named Marat. After all, it was expensive too. Just yesterday, Amr had cautioned his wife, Be careful that your children do not come into contact with this man before we announce an opinion on him. He was talking about Musab ibn Umir, whom Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had sent to Medina to teach Islam. Amma was 60, and people often looked up to him for his wisdom. That's why he thought he had a duty not to outrightly shun Musab, but to investigate before coming to a verdict. But his wife was not thinking of his cautionary words. She was thinking if he would be able to digest the fact that his caution had been breached well before he could say it. She and her three sons, Muadda, Muad, and Halad, were already Muslims. In fact, she was thinking about how to get her husband to embrace Islam. Hind, Amma's wife, replied thoughtfully, I'll try my best to obey your words. But can't we at least ask Muad what this new man says? She added. Amma bin al-Jamu blew up suddenly. How dare he turn away from his religion without even asking me? Hind had to control the situation. No, not at all. He just went to him a few times to find out what this man has to say. This way, it'll be easier for you to reach a decision on him. He memorized some of the things he says, just like a son should, to help you perform your duty. Amma calmed down and ordered, In that case, tell him to come and let me hear what he's found out. Muad obliged. He knew this could be a make-or-break situation. So, he went and recited the opening verses of the Quran, Surah Al-Fatiha. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين in the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, all praise is for Allah alone, the Lord of all the worlds, the most gracious, the most merciful, master of the day of judgment. You alone do we worship, and to you alone do we turn for help. Guide us on the straight way the way of those upon whom you have bestowed your blessings, not of those you are displeased with or those who are astray. Dear kids, do you know what the Quran tells us? It tells us, through Quran, Allah lets many go off the right path, and by this he makes many find guidance. 
but he does not let anyone go astray except those who are sinful. Amr bin al-Jamu was not on the right religion, but he wasn't a bad person, nor was he too much against Islam. He was just curious if it was really the right path, and he had his apprehensions. He was thinking that he had to decide for the good of his people. So he listened very carefully. He couldn't help but declare, How perfect are these words, and how beautiful! He asked Muad, Is everything that Muhammad says like this? Muad, like an obedient son, replied, Yes, father, it is. Then he added in a matter-of-fact way, Do you wish to accept his message and change your religion? His father gave him a quizzical look. Muad responded, All your people have already done so. Amma thought for a while and came up with his decision. Although this man's message is compelling, I shall not do so until I consult Manat and see what he says. What indeed would Manat say, father? It is only a piece of wood. It can neither think nor speak. The old man retorted sharply, I told you, I shall not do anything without him. And so he did. He went to his idol, Manat, and chose his words carefully so as not to invite Manat's wrath or challenging it being God. He revered the idol so much that even though he had lost a leg, he tried his best and stood straight to show his respect. Oh, Manat, I know this promoter of lies from Maka wishes evil against you. He has come only to stop us worshipping you. I do not want to answer his call, despite the beautiful and magical words he says. But people here are waiting for my judgment on this issue. You know I don't take any important step without your advice. Please, suggest what to do. An old woman sat behind the idol. It was how the idol worshippers thought their idols responded. They thought that the old woman's body was taken over by the idol, and she speaks for them. But Manat gave no response. Amma continued, Are you angry? I did nothing wrong. Never mind. I shall leave you for a few days to let your anger subside. Amma's sons knew about the strong belief their father had in Manat. But they also knew that his belief had been somewhat shaken, especially when he heard the words of the true God, Allah. And when Manad's idol gave no response, his belief was further shaken, because Amma knew he did nothing wrong to invite Manad's cold response. So, they made a brilliant plan with one of their friends. They sneaked in, took away and threw their father's expensive personal idol Manat into the dumping place for the Banu Salema tribe. When Amma woke up the following morning, he went to pay his respects to his idol, but did not find it. I'll see you all, he shouted, who attacked our god last night. None of his sons dared reply, because he was fuming with rage as he tried to find his precious idol. They were, however, enjoying the situation. They didn't know what his reaction would be when he finally finds his beloved idol, but one thing was sure, his belief would definitely be shaken. He finally found it lying head first in the dump. It had the rotten smell of filth. He cleaned and perfumed it and resolved, As soon as I find out who did this to you, I'll make him pay dearly for this. Hey kids, to listen to the rest of the story, subscribe at www.luckmay.com for $10 per month and unlock more videos of this story and much more. Link given in the description below.